What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Titan Array system. So as you can see, it comes with the sub, which also has the amp on the back to control everything for the system. You also got the three array pieces that go on top of the subwoofer. You also get a power supply to power the whole system. And you also get a bag for the subwoofer and the array pieces, so you can bring the whole system on the go to any gig or event. So to assemble your system, you're gonna connect all three of these array pieces onto the top of your sub. You'll also notice that each of these arrays are built a little differently. For example, this array here has the ridges on the mount at the bottom, so this is gonna be the array that we first put on the top of the sub. So you're gonna line up the mount of your array to the port here on top of the sub, and you're gonna wanna make sure that these ridges line up on the sub and on the array. So once you do that, the array is gonna be a bit slanted, so we're just gonna center it like so. And to make sure that it's properly connected to the sub, we're just gonna push down a little bit. Then you'll hear that little thud letting you know that it's properly connected. Next, you're gonna grab the array that has the mount on the bottom and the hole here on the top. And then you're gonna line the mount up to the port here from the first array, just like this. And again, you're gonna wanna push down to make sure that it's properly connected. Then we're just gonna take the very last array and do the exact same thing by lining up the mount to the port here on top of the second array. Push it down, and now we have all three arrays connected to the sub. So now that we've got the system assembled and the power running, let's go ahead and turn on the system. Now the first thing I wanna go over with this system is the microphone, instrument, and line level input. It's a combo jack input, so we can use either a quarter inch cable or an XLR cable to connect a microphone, instrument like a guitar or bass, or anything with a line level signal like a keyboard or synth. First, I'll show you guys how to connect a mic to the system. So here I have my dynamic mic and an XLR cable. I'm gonna plug the female end into my microphone. Then I'm gonna plug the other end into the mic input on the back of the sub. Next to the combo jack, we have a button that switches the input from mic and guitar mode to line mode. So whenever you have a microphone or guitar connected through this input, you're gonna wanna press this button in so that it's set to guitar or mic mode. And if you wanna switch it to line mode with your line signal running through this input, you're just gonna wanna leave this button unpressed. So the next thing I'm gonna wanna do for my mic setup is raise the microphone volume right next to the combo jack. So now if I talk into my microphone, check one, two, you'll be able to hear my voice coming through the system. So now let me show you guys how to connect a guitar to the system. So I got my guitar right here and I'm also gonna need a quarter inch instrument cable. Gonna plug one end of my cable into the guitar. Then I'm gonna plug the other end into the guitar input on the back of the sub. Again, you'll wanna be sure that the button next to the jack is set to guitar mode by pressing the button in. So next I can raise the guitar volume on the back of the sub. Then I can raise the volume on my guitar. And now if I play, you should be able to hear the guitar coming through the system. Now if you wanted to set up a keyboard or synth to the system, you can actually follow the same steps as the guitar setup, but the main difference is you'll wanna leave the input in line mode because the keyboard or synth gives a line level output. Now the cool thing is we can set up an instrument like our guitar or keyboard and a microphone through the system at the same time. To do that, we're gonna take our microphone and plug it into the mic input. And then we can plug our guitar into the line input above our microphone input. You can also do the reverse and have your microphone plugged into the mic input and your guitar plugged into the guitar input. But just keep in mind the mic and guitar input is a bit louder, so it all really depends on what you want to have more present in your mix. For example, I have my microphone plugged into the mic input, so that's gonna be the louder instrument out of my microphone and guitar together. But if you wanted the guitar to be a bit louder, you can plug your guitar into the guitar input and your microphone into the line input above. So next I'm gonna raise the volume for my microphone. Then I'm gonna raise the line level knob for the guitar. So now if I play my guitar, you'll be able to hear that coming through the system. And if I talk into my mic, check one, two, you're gonna hear the microphone as well, and you'll hear both instruments together, which makes for a great performance or live setup. And remember, if you want to set up your keyboard as your main instrument instead of the guitar, you're gonna follow these same exact steps. 
Now let's go through the rest of the features of the Titan Array system. So next to the microphone input, we have the mix output. This allows you to send the signal of the Titan Array system out to another powered speaker or subwoofer. And then we have the line input section where we can use RCA, XLR or quarter inch connections to connect any outside signal from a mixer, powered speaker, etc. to the Titan Array. Above that we have the digital sound processor to change the overall sound for our system. So we can choose between five different presets of normal, DJ, voice, live, or flat. Across from the DSP we have the LCD display and right underneath the display we have buttons to control the array system. So we have the mode button to switch the array system into the different music playback modes. And this button can also be used to set the system into TWS mode, but we're gonna circle back to that in a bit. Next, we have the pause and play button to pause or play our music. We have the stop button to stop the music altogether. We have the repeat button to repeat our track that's playing through. And then we have the previous and skip forward buttons to go back or go forward a track. We also have many different ways to play music through our system between the USB and SD card input. We also have the RCA line input to connect any music devices with an RCA output. And the system also comes with Bluetooth compatibility so we can pair any smartphone or tablet to the system. So to pair a device, you first want to make sure that your system is set to Bluetooth mode by pressing the mode button until the display reads Bluetooth unconnected. Then you can take your device like a smartphone or tablet and go into the Bluetooth settings, search for the device that reads Titan Array System, click on it to pair, and you'll know your device is connected when the display reads Bluetooth connected. Now to make sure you hear the music coming through your system, you're going to raise the line slash mp3 volume knob on the back of your sub. You can also control the source volume by using the volume notches on your phone or tablet. So let's play some music to hear how it sounds. So because we can connect a microphone and a Bluetooth device to the Titan Array system, it makes for a great karaoke setup. So to set up my microphone, I'm going to take the female end of my XLR cable and plug it into my mic. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into the mic input on the back of the sub. Remember to press the button next to the input to set it into the microphone mode. Next you're going to raise the mic volume knob. And now if I talk into my mic, check one, two, you'll hear my voice coming out of the system. Great, so now that our microphone is all set up, the next thing we'll want to do is connect a smartphone or tablet so we can play some music and read along to the lyrics on screen while everything is playing out of the system. So first I'm going to set the system into Bluetooth mode by pressing the mode button until it reads Bluetooth unconnected on the display. Next I can go into the Bluetooth settings of whatever device I'm using. So for today I'm using the tablet here and I'm going to search for the device that reads Titan Array System and click on it to pair. After that you'll see the display read Bluetooth connected letting you know our devices are paired. You also want to make sure that the line slash mp3 knob is raised so we hear the music coming out of the system. So from here I can go into the YouTube app and search for any karaoke version of a song and again I'll have the lyrics on screen while the music and the microphone is playing through the system. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play! Hey now, you're a rock star, get your show on, get paid! All that glitters is gold! Only shooting stars break the mold. Yeah. So what's really cool is that if you had two Titan Array systems, you can link them together wirelessly using TWS, otherwise known as True Wireless Stereo. So to do that, I'm first going to make sure that both of my speakers are on, and then I'm going to set them both to Bluetooth mode using the mode button underneath the display. You'll know that they're in Bluetooth mode when it reads Bluetooth unconnected on the display on both speakers. The mode button also acts as the TWS button to link the two speakers together. So what you're going to do is hold down the TWS button on both systems for about 3 to 5 seconds. After you do that, you'll see that one of your speakers reads Bluetooth TWS connected, while the other one says Bluetooth TWS unconnected. 
This just means that it's looking for a Bluetooth device to connect to so you can play music through both systems. So I can take a smartphone or a tablet, go into the Bluetooth settings and search for the device that reads Titan Array System. Then I'm just going to click on it to pair and now both systems should read as Bluetooth TWS connected letting us know that all of our devices are linked and ready to go. So let's go ahead and hear how it sounds with two of our systems. Now if you wanted to disconnect the TWS, all you got to do is hold down the TWS button on one of your speakers, then it's going to read Bluetooth TWS unconnected, and then if you wanted to link them back together, you can just hold down the TWS button again, and then it's going to link up no problem. So once you're all done with your system, we can go ahead and pack it up using the included bags here. To disassemble the system, we're just going to start at the very top here and just pull out our first array like so. Gonna do the exact same thing with the second array and just pull it up. And now with the last array here, we're actually gonna twist it like so, so that this way the ridges on the mount on the bottom of the array matches with the ridges on the top of the sub. So now we can just carefully lift up on the last array here. And now we've got all three arrays ready to go. Now we can pack up our arrays using our small bag here. And if you look inside, you'll see there's a divider for each array. So I can take one array and place it inside my divider in the middle. I can take my second array and place it right next to the first one. And then I'm gonna take the last array and place it on the opposite side. From here, I can pull up on the back of the bag so that it's covering up the array. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the front of the bag here. And then I can just use the zipper to close it up. There's even a hole in the middle of the zipper if you wanted to run a padlock through for extra security. After that, I can take both of the handles here and join them together using the Velcro. And now the arrays are all packed up and ready to go. We also have our cover here for the sub. So all we're gonna do is line up the bottom of the cover to the top of the sub and then just pull down on the cover so it's completely covering this up. You'll see there's an opening here for the handles of the sub so we can still pick it up and place it in our car or in storage. There's even a pouch on the back so we can place our power cables, microphones, etc. From here we can take our system and load it into our vehicle or we can even load it into a cart like our very own rock cart to bring it around to our gig or event. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Titan Array system but of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.